Hi everybody, it's Dr. Freddy for this week's episode of Dr. Freddy Said So. We're here at the Mississauga Marathon Expo and we're talking to runners about how to run better with better form and technique. So I'm going to give you some of my top tips that have allowed me to finish 14 straight Boston marathons. And even though I'm getting older, I'm actually getting better and faster. And a lot of it comes with proper form and technique. Right? If we look at a runner's posture, like we have Shireen here, a lot of runners don't realize that they spend time on their shoes or their clothes or their nutrition, but they don't think twice about their own body's alignment, which is a thing you have to get across to the finish line anyways. So if we look at somebody's posture from the side, a lot of runners, we tend to see that their ear is forward of their shoulder, like you can see here with Shireen. So just think, as you're running, if your head is forward and your head weighs about 14 pounds, what do these muscles have to do here in the neck area? Yes, they have to work harder. So that's stealing energy away from energy that could be going to your heart or your lungs or your digestion. And that's why as runners get more fatigued and tired, they even get worse posture and that actually slows them down even more. Sometimes they have breathing difficulties, sometimes digestive issues, and it's not anything to do with what they eat or their fitness, it has to do with losing that proper form. So one of the best things we can do with Shireen is pretend there's a string pulling you towards the ceiling and that will help her feel taller. We could use a few inches being taller, right Shireen? Absolutely. Absolutely, right? <laughs> but for any runner, whether you're six foot five or five foot five, you want to run tall. If your ear is forward of your shoulder, we want the ear back towards the shoulder. Now some of you will find that difficult because you might have some subluxations or misalignments in that area. Well, it's not a thing, something you can fix on your own, but that definitely gives you a sign to get that checked. So we'll run tall. If you're from the front, some runners might not realize, and that's why when we check your posture, one shoulder could be higher than the other. One hip could be higher. And just think, if you're out of alignment this way, well, that's going to put more stress, not just in the back and the neck, but also we've measured runners that are 5, 10, 15, 20 pounds heavier on one side because of their alignment. Well, that, what's that going to do to the ankle, to the foot, to the knee, the hip, the back, all the way up to the neck area in those areas? You're right, it's going to put extra stress. And so sometimes people say, well, I get chronic IT band problems or my knee hurts and you know what, you can get massage, you can get ART done on those areas, but unless you actually fix the alignment, that problem is just going to come back. So one of the best things we can do is obviously assess the posture, you know, get an assessment done of your spine properly to see if there's any misalignments and you might even need corrective chiropractic care to correct those. New shoes are nice, but that's not going to fix the problem that caused it. So hopefully those are two quick tips that can help you with your running form. Run tall, run balanced, and that will help you run easier, run faster, use less energy, and maybe you too can meet me at the Boston Marathon too. Have a great day everybody. Follow us on Facebook and YouTube at Chiropractic First Natural Health Group. If you have any comments or questions, just put them in the box below here. And even share it to a friend, somebody who's a walker, runner, or somebody just that needs to have better posture. Hopefully this can inspire them. Have a great day.